Hi, I'm Betsy McKay. I'm the Director of Bilingual Leadership Development at McDonald's USA. And I have the privilege of leading the uh, English Under the Arches program along with some other educational offerings that we have. Um, English Under the Arches is a English as a Second Language program that we developed at McDonald's along with some leading ESL experts in the field. And the reason it came about is that McDonald's has a long history of growing their own, of promoting from within. It seemed to have a win-win-win about it because, um, first of all, yes, the individuals would win because they would gain the English that they could use at work and, of course, in other parts of their lives. Um, uh, the customers would win because the staff now would be better equipped to handle their needs and the, the restaurant would win. So by having you know, better running operations and, and um, shift managers with more flexibility in terms of scheduling, et cetera. So with a win-win-win, we decided to go ahead and um, see what we could come up with. And we, we, didn't, we weren't able to uh, latch on to any particular model that existed. Um, First of all, our, our students, our employees, um, very often have two full-time jobs and uh, family responsibilities, et cetera. So having a class outside of work time in the evenings or Saturdays did not seem uh, feasible at all. At the same time, we knew that we wanted to preserve as much of the face-to-face -face contact of a live instructor as possible. So we had this crazy idea that perhaps we could have a blended solution and we could have live classes with, led by the instructor, but through web conferencing so that the individuals, the students, could be in their own restaurant and literally from 3 to 4 p.m. could go back in the crew room and log on to the computer and log on through the telephone and have a live um, class with the rest of the students who would be in surrounding restaurants, each doing the same thing, and the instructor. Um, it, w it was a guess in the beginning. Uh, but we constructed the curriculum to be um, a, a good portion of it through the virtual classes, some face-to-face -face classes uh, where the teacher in the class would actually meet for a, a four-hour class. And then we supplemented it with the development of um, e-learning, which would, well, it really reinforces the lessons of each week, as well as on-the-job practice. So <clears throat> as I had mentioned earlier, we were very fortunate to work with some uh, just leading folks in the field of ESL. And uh, they were all game to try something new, uh, even though it wasn't uh, well, it was, it, was, it was a guess. And so we constructed this, uh, this model and piloted the first course, which was a 22-week course, uh, five hours a week, uh, in three different sites uh, in Chicago, the Baltimore-Washington region, and our Southern California region. And it was really an opportunity to take a look at the, the curriculum itself. Um, was the content right? Well, once we found the content was right, is the delivery mechanism right, etc. And at McDonald's, it's really important to make things easy because um, the restaurant managers themselves have a business to run. So they can't uh, devote a lot of time to a program like this. So it had to be seamless. It had to be um, something that the student could just go in the back and log on to the computer, et cetera, uh, for the virtual live virtual classes without a lot of administration. Um, at the same time, it had to be cost effective because the owner operators were going to be um, paying for the instructors as well as paying the individuals, the students, uh, for the time that they were spending off the floor in class. And with that kind of an investment, they had to see results. So that was the initial framework for, for starting it. The, the pilot results uh, turned out to be phenomenal.
So we knew there was something there, and the next year we expanded and, uh, to six sites, and from there we've just kept expanding so that now we're in about 20 sites around the country. Um, and it's all pulled by the operators in that community who, who feel they have a need for their, their employees. So it's, a, it's a, either you could call it a scatter site or a multiple site model, but that is really exciting. That's sort of a model with a curriculum that's really working to help people get these higher level skills that are important for working on the job and moving into managerial positions. And then of course the fact that this is an internationally known business that's doing this, well that is really exciting. That really has legs. And so we were, we were very interested in it both because of what a, what a great model it was uh, on a number of different levels, what a strong curriculum it was, and then the fact that, you know, this is a major international corporation that's really embracing their responsibility uh, for playing a role in immigrant integration. What's the biggest change, the biggest change that you've seen in yourself? I solved the problems. Solved the problems because before, I don't solve the problems because we have nerves. It's an incredible um, honor it's so gratifying because we're seeing the effect on these individuals' lives. Um, and it's taken a huge team to make this happen, from our ESL experts to our owner-operators to our, our field folks to the students themselves and their managers. Um, it, it really is a, a team effort in order to provide these courses for the, uh, for the students. And it was a gamble. This was a brand new model. We made it up as we went along. And the fact that it's been so effective um, is just gratifying. So to be recognized for uh, those innovations, for taking a risk, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's a, a wonderful feeling. Before I took the class, I was afraid of a lot of things, as were in the phone at work, talking to the customers, and with my coworkers. I was afraid of talking to my children's teachers. No one could understand what I was saying. But now, the people I work with and my customer can understand me. I have relationships with them, I can help fix customer complaints. My work in English is better. So I have been promoted to first assistant manager. Outside of work, I can talk with my daughters and son's teacher. Before, I couldn't understand what they were saying about my own children. But now I can talk to them and I can help my daughter and son with their homework. I'm not scared anymore. If I'm in trouble, I can talk to the police. If I'm lost, I, I can ask for directions. English under the arches has changed my life. Thank you.